Morgantown, West Virginia, home to the Mountaineers and a fan base that has been, shall we say, preparing since early in the morning for the battle we have in store. will get us started with the opening kickoff. He'll start the return inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. The Mountaineers offense will take the first swing of the game. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling. The temperature is hot. Jesse, you want this week more than most. Yeah, and we've played in these games before. Everything just seems to be heightened, right? The game seems to be moving faster. The crowd noise feels louder. Your composure will be tested early in a game like this. They want to run it left here. Keeps it moving for a three-yard gain to the 24. We anticipate this one being much tighter than the last time these two met when it was a blowout, David. And here's the thing. you got an opportunity right now. you got the football early in this game to show you. This is going to be more of the same, Palmer. Well, we talked to both coaching staffs and players, and they're all very aware of what happened the last time these two teams played. So expect everybody's A game today, Reese, you're right. We expect this one to be a lot tighter. In your own territory, fourth down, no problem at all. They just go for it again. What about you, Reese? Are you going for that? Yeah, man. Trying to hit the sideline on the right. And he's able to shed one tackle and gets a pretty good pickup. Well, nice job there by the running back. They toss it to him, and he's able to kind of weave his way for a very good game for this offense. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. And you can tell the QB wants to run. He's going to be a big part of the game plan, and the defense really, really understands that. I got to understand, and more importantly, when I get a lick on this cat, I got to take it. Like, not dirty, not cheap shots, but end of the plays, when I can be physical and really make him feel me, I think that'll always bode well in a fourth quarter game. This move just oozes confidence going for it on fourth down from their own side of the field. They want to run this quarterback. He's not going to get there. Stop short on fourth down. So the Virginia Tech Hokies offense will go to work for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this game, David, what do you look for to make an impact from your leaders? Your leaders not only have to lead the football team, but they got to step up and make plays on the field, keep everybody calm. These guys typically do a really good job. Yeah, David, and they also generally set the tone for their respective football teams. Regardless of which side of the ball they play on, the teammates look towards them to step up in big games like this. Dropping back, it's Drones. He'll try to do it himself. And he gets it just beyond the line of scrimmage before he gets down. I know you want to prepare for every game the same way, but there's just something different about rivalry games, Jesse. It's because, Reese, I think players are aware that games like this define your legacy as a player. Your record in rivalry games is something that people are going to talk about for years and years down the road. You have got to show up and play your best football in games like this. Leaves it with the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Listen, I know there are a lot of DBs out there that all they want to do is get interceptions and dance in the end zone. This dude likes to put his face in the fan, get close to the line of scrimmage, and tackle. And on the opening drive, if he's out there, he gets a huge tackle for loss early. That is a statement of play. Facing third and long from the 21 and hoping not to settle for a field goal. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Ball into the end zone, and it's intercepted. Really nice focus by his sophomore, and he jumped on his chance to make a play. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean, 
you think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field. It's more speed. It's more guys that can cover, but they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. Superb effort by that guy. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. He's got it on the right. Turns it on in midfield. And he's running in the open. He's at the 10. Slippery slide. Find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, West Virginia. And what a nice start for this offense. The throw game getting working, getting the touchdown pass. This quarterback getting a little bit of confidence. This passing game getting in a rhythm. Nice start for this offense. The returner will field it and bring it back. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. And we're about to get another look at this hooky offense. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after the pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out and you got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. Looking for a man. It's Drones. Turns it loose deep. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. Man, what, what a rough start for this quarterback. Already throwing one interception, throwing another ball in harm's way. They got to find a way to settle him down a little bit, maybe give him some easier throws because his decision making so far has not been good right down the middle and trying to put points on the board on third down now they're staring at fourth down and the Hokies line up to punt it away this will be their first punt of the afternoon he'll bring it back it's Farmer the solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. West Virginia has it, the offense ready to go to work. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make because they got to stop the bleeding right now. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Going to run it. It's white. What a good one there. He has enough for the first down. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. Listen, defense is about energy. It's about passion. It's about physicality. They need a little bit more of that. Get the guy in the ground. You can't let guys break tackles. What could have been set up in a long yard situation, now it becomes an easier situation because you couldn't get him up there. Here on third down. They'll try to run for it. They get him on the ground, but not before he rumbles all the way to the five. Guys, that's the end of the quarter, and West Virginia has the lead. We've put one in the books. Let's have a look at our game summary. They'll try to open the quarter by cashing in on this big opportunity deep in the red zone. They'll try to get it in with the run. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Well, they're going RPO. Nice job handing it off and really good vision there. Just getting what he can get, right? Puts his foot in the ground, gets forward, helps this offense find positive yards. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. And he waltzes in for the score. Touchdown, Mountaineer! Getting set for the point after. The kick is up and good. It puts one more on the lead. That drive covered 57 yards for the touchdown. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. He'll bring it out. It's Heath. 
Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. Now we'll get a chance to see if they can answer that last score, trailing by 14, Jesse. Yeah, and at this point of the game, I feel like offensively, you should go back to what's been working for you in this game. Don't be afraid to dial up plays that you've already had success with, running it and throwing it. It's okay to repeat plays down 14 at this point. And I would also say, Palmer, kind of understanding that my defense is not playing great, so... I know offensively, I gotta put some good possessions together here, make something happen on this side of the football. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. If the Hokies can keep this up in the passing game, that'll make them touch that Hokie stone with a little more enthusiasm. Yeah, it'll get them jacked up, it'll get excited. A lot of times with Virginia Tech, man, we've seen it. It's the defense, it's the special teams, but when they can get that QB throwing the ball down the field and create some balance, it's when they have their best teams. The Hokies will hustle through the line. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. He goes down at the 47 after a five-yard pickup. And the Hokies look to keep this drive humming. The run from the shotgun. At the 40, there he goes! And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. Finally, this offense starting to show a little juice. They've got a first and 10. To the ground, he's got it again. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. Man, a nice second effort by the back to break a tackle. But how about those defensive backs willing to come up, stick their face in the fan, and make a tackle? Those are the best run defenses, too, right? It's not just D-linemen and linebackers getting all the plays, but it's DBs that are willing to not just cover, but tackle backs in the open field. Yeah, when you get penetration by that defense right away, and there's no way to cut at all for that back, he gets destroyed right away. No way that play was going to be successful. Way too much penetration. Quarterback now on the run, still looking. He'll pull it down and run. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. Keeping it on the ground on first and goal. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. Smashes through the tackle. And he runs it all the way down to the three-yard line before he's finally knocked down. The defense going to stop the clock with the timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Looking to throw on third and goal. And makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Hokies! I don't know exactly what the defensive coverage was, but it certainly wasn't part of the plan to leave him that wide open. Oh, I don't, I don't think they know what their defensive coverage was either. How do you leave that big guy open down here in the red zone? You know the quarterback loves the big tight ends in this area. Really poor job by the defense. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got all kinds of room to the right. Pass to 30. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Mountaineer. And once he found daylight, it was Katie by the door, baby. I'm a DC. I'm just I'm throwing my clipboard. I'm throwing my hands up in the air. What do you want me to do? I mean, this is unbelievable. I'm a guy, this dynamic at the quarterback spot that can take it 50 plus and make it look that easy. You stop. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. to throw. It's drones. Quick strike complete. You see it so much in college football with motion running back out of the backfield. What are they looking for? Man coverage. Are you trying to cover my running back with one of your linebackers? If you are, 
I'm going to take advantage. I love taking advantage of the mismatch with your running back out in space. Keep doing that. He's going to pass on second down. Finds his tight end. He's there to make the stop, and the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. He's going to pass. Shoots it to the left. Picked off. He'll try to take it back. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. This is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. Just gets rid of the football, nobody to throw it to. It'll be second down. Know the situation, know the game of football, right? When I start to get outside the pocket, I don't see anything there. I can throw the ball away. I don't have to take a sack, get a lost yardage play. I can just throw the ball out of bounds as long as it passes the line of scrimmage. We go on to the next down. No harm, no foul. And a big key on that throw to the slot receiver, guys, is putting the ball out in front. The location of the throw is what helped that guy get extra yards after the catch. Bully ball on third and short. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. And how about the third down run? And this is an offense that they can do a lot of different things, so they make you guard the whole field. But you might want to start with that running back. And he makes the big play, gets the third down conversion, gets him a new set of downs. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. You know, as a defense, you kind of want to force the give on the RPO. You want them to run the football, and you can tell maybe the quarterback wishes he pulled this. Small game, but some information you gather maybe for the next time you get to run an RPO. Now facing a third and long. Corralled short of the line to gain. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. This would likely be a chip shot for the field goal kicker, but they want the touchdown instead. They'll go for it on fourth down. Offense calls a timeout here. Critically important to make sure they have the right play called and everyone on the same page here. Here comes the field goal unit as they'll try to get the three. It's good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. So they put the field goal on the board and about to kick it away and hoping that'll be the final points of this first half. Coming out with it, it's green. Not nearly as much as he'd hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. And we're about to get another look at this hooky offense. This late in the half, you're behind. You'd love to create something before the break to build momentum, Jesse. But you've also had some miscues on offense. Big part of why you're losing the game right now. I'd take it into halftime, make my adjustments, and come out ready in the second half. Yeah, I'm going to take it into halftime, too, Paul. But I'm trying to put some points up right here. Be aggressive, set the tone, be like, hey, listen, this is what you're going to get in the second half, so find something really quick that you can go to. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. He wants to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Makes the grab. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. The Hokies come to the line with a new set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. Finds a tight end. He stopped at the 32. Picks up 10 on the play and gets the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Back to pass. It's Drones. Just a short pass to the tight end. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. On second down, they'll try the field goal to get the points before halftime. He's got it. Showing off that big leg from 47 yards out. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. 
fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. He'll bring it out. It's green. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. Down two possessions to start this third quarter. They'd love to build some early momentum. You ain't lying, because you only got so many possessions here in the second half. So now you're down. I got to maximize every single one. Put your best plays together and start this drive off on a good note. Yeah, it starts right here. Obviously, you can't get it all back on this drive, but you can create that momentum. You can create something special and some energy, but it's going to start with this offense here executing at a high level. Defense closed down quickly after a gain of three. They'll mark it at the 32. And the Hokies in the hurry up. On second down, he'll let it fly. He'll pull it down. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush. And you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield. But he sees an opening. And if he sees an opening, he's got the ability to go get it and get a first down. Got it behind the line. It's Lane. And oh, did they know that one was coming? They'll knock him down in the backfield. This offense has a second down play. Caught behind the line. It's Lane. And he is going to lose yardage. Nowhere to run as he is forced out of bounds. And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down or else they are really in trouble. Now improvising. And he is not going to get there as the defense gets him on the ground. The Hokies will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the returner will be knocked down. West Virginia has it, the offense ready to go to work. And to settle for the chip shot field goal last time, Jesse, they'd love for this one to pay off bigger. Yeah, it just comes down to execution. And the heat gets there, and they get him down at the 14-yard line. They gave up the sack on first down, now it's second and 11. Here's a quick throw out to the left. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Pocket starts to collapse. And the defense is there to stop him short of the first down. The Mountaineers send out the punt unit. They'll look to pin him deep. That's usually prime return position, but he'll make the fair catch just outside the 40. And we're about to get another look at this hooky offense. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter. Right there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. When you talk about creating big plays in the running game like this, this makes the game really easy. Actually, when you've got a guy like this that you can hand it to with this much speed and elusiveness, just hard to bring down the open field. What a big game for the offense. When you've been around like this guy has, you know how valuable picking up the first down with your feet can be. Expect some pressure coming from the blitz. He's got it. Touchdown, Virginia Tech! A Lazarus-like comeback is underway. A big question mark for this offense coming into the year, guys. Who could score touchdowns? Who are going to be their biggest playmakers on offense? This guy scored in the first game. He's off to a great start in this one with that touchdown. This guy looks like the real deal. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. He is electric in the return game, and that one has the offense set up nicely. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. 
After giving up that last touchdown, they still got the lead, but now feeling a little bit of pressure to answer with one of their own, David. And it gets a little bit tight. Listen, we're getting later in the ball game. This offense punted last time. They got to find a few plays, Palmer, that they really love here. Steal some momentum back in this ball. Game. They do, David. And after watching their defense just get gashed down the field that last drive, the dream drive for this offense would be to matriculate the ball down the field, eat up some clock, and finish it off with a touchdown. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, West Virginia. And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. TCU is running away with things, and I'm not sure who saw this coming today from this offense. Here up by 32 over the Coyotes. We promise to keep you posted on what goes down in this exciting college football matchup. Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. He lost it high and deep down the left side. He's got it inside the 30. He's loose down the left side. Touchdown, Hokies! And the comeback is on! That was just as simple as playing catch in warm-ups. And this offense felt like they could take advantage of this defense down the field, throwing the football. They've got a lot of speed on the perimeter. I feel like they've got some matchups they feel they should be winning one-on-one. -on -one. You saw a great example of it right there. He stopped short of the 20 at the 19 and probably wishes he'd just taken the touchback. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Stopped at the 25 after a five-yard gain. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Looking downfield, it's green. Got his man down the middle. At the 35, he's got room. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. And the Mountaineers will line it up on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Grab behind the line. It's Taylor. And they get him on the ground, and that'll probably do it for the third quarter. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. They'll go to the ground. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, it's a nice job by this defense. Obviously backed up against it. Time running out. Got to get the football back. Two good plays. Now third down. I stay aggressive. Have to come after him. If they decide to throw the football, so be it. But stay aggressive. Get that football back from your offense. Getting some heat. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. The Mountaineers will punt this one away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. And Virginia Tech sends the offense onto the field. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. Unloads quickly. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. And now on second down for this offense. Back to pass. It's Drones. 
Makes the grab over the middle. And they'll pick up the first down and mark it at the 47. New set of downs after that completion. They'll give it to the back. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow at second and seven. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. Right back to the well. Shakes off the tackle. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. And the Hokies are on the move. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Linebackers have such an amazing responsibility. Got to play run, got to play pass. How about this? Seeing the run aggressively, getting downhill, and getting in the backfield and making a tackle for a loss. Feeling some heat. They've got the screen set up. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. Looking to go up top on first down. Throws to the wideout. And they weren't able to make the connection. They were looking for an explosive play. Let's see if they go back to the air on second and ten from the 28. He's looking to throw. Pressure coming. Quarterback now breaking the field. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Man, these are these are killers, right? Late in the game, in the fourth quarter, you get into the quarterback, but he does such a great job scrambling around. When you do this, you, you get extra first downs. You start to wear those defensive linemen out. So late in the game, this could pay off. Great job getting the first down. You know, I know it seems like an easy pitch and catch, but for the tight end there, that route potentially changes if it's man coverage. So good job by him knowing it's zone. I'm just going to sit down. This is basically like a check down, right? Let's just take the easy pitch and catch and keep this drive going. They get him down after the scramble, but he's able to pick up a few and turn it into a positive play. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. To the air. It's Drones. Gets away from one. And he's sprinting. He'll take it all the way. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective in the end. I love it, Reese. Down in the red zone, this quarterback didn't have anybody open. Didn't panic. He just decided, man, I'm going to go do this myself. I'm going to use my wheels and put up six on the board. He did just that. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Right back to the well. At the 45 on his way. They get him down at the 49, but not before he picks up 15. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first end on that one. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Line getting set on second down. They'll toss it to the left. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. They need to get a little closer for a field goal try, and they've got to do it in a hurry. On the ground, it's white. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. Timeout called here by the defense. It's the first one they've used this half. And the Mountaineers getting set on first and 10. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. Not a whole lot of room to run. Let's give him a couple. 
Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. Power football with the run. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing. They've got it just outside the red zone. They'll move the chains. It's at the 21. Timeout is called by the offense. They have 14 seconds left. This drive has been exclusively on the ground. Could they be setting up a shot play? They'll try the run. And he has a solid game before the defense bottles him up. They get the timeout, and the clock reads three seconds. Here comes the field goal unit. It'll all be decided right here. Win or lose on this kick. They get the timeout, and the clock reads three seconds. They'll have to settle for a field goal attempt. Nerves of steel right down the boulevard on the game-winning chip shot. Guys, that one was a ton of fun to call, and the players, a lot of games sort of wash away in the memory bank. Not that one. That will be an indelible mark in their memory. I agree, Reese. You know, I think back to my career at Florida and just the games that stand out the most were always the ones that went down to the wire, whether we lost or whether we won. For this team, this is going to be a good memory moving forward, David, because of how well they played. Did you lose more of those? Or